Inspection of the left nasal cavity with a curved frontal sinus curette fails to reveal any clear openings into the left frontal recess. Note the middle turbinate remnant as well as some adjacent adhesions to the nasal septum. And this patient has undergone multiple previous surgeries, including failed frontal sinusotomies. Inspection of the right nasal cavity demonstrates similar loss of intranasal landmarks. Palpation within the frontal recess demonstrates what's, what may be a stenotic right frontal ostium. Halfway through surgery, we see the floor of the left frontal sinus has been partially removed with this 30-degree view. Following septectomy with removal of a superior portion of the nasal septum, we can pass the endoscope through the right side of the nose, the long handle drill through the endoscope through the right side, the long handle drill through the left side, so as to drill down the intrafrontal septum. At the completion of surgery, the entire floor of both sides of the frontal sinus had been removed. Notice the inverted U-shape of the floors of the frontal sinus, the U-shaped opening at the completion of surgery. The mound in the bottom center of the field is the olfactory bulb region. Visualization with a 45-degree endoscope demonstrates an even better, brighter view to the depths of the frontal sinuses on either side, all the way up to their roofs. The extent of bone removal goes laterally as far as the lacrimal sacs, so palpation of the left and then right globe demonstrates some movement in the lacrimal sac regions.